What is your full name? My name's Mitchell Reese Cooper. And how's your day? The day's been alright, but the fucking the rain come over, right? And I started feeling raindrops on my head. So I left. And come here. And now I'm looking at a little fucking thing there. And a big fucking bumblebee over there. So what up? What's a day in the life of Mitchell Cooper like? Day in the life of the old, what I used to call it, Cooper Hunt. I'm a bloody good fisherman. That's my fucking drink, you little black dog. Hey. Nah, nah, nah. That's my drink. The day of my life, it's my drink. Okay? Alright. What happens in my life is... Not much, really, to be honest with you. Depends if it's... Hang on, just wait a second. I've got a phone call. Mitch Rose Cooper speaking. How can I help you? You'd like to order what? A sexy man. Okay, what kind of size would you want and what kind of frame? Big stocky, not too tall. Yeah, yeah, I've got a few. I've got a few. How much are you willing to pay? Mate, that's not fucking money. <coughs> I'm looking at for around about an hour um, 600. And that's fucking rusty trombones. Mmm. Hey, do you want to say hello to... Wait, do you want to say hello to the camera? Okay, just wait a second. Yeah, you said hello, it's all good, bro. I'm in, I'm in the middle of an interview, man, for work, bro. Yeah, I'm signing up to be a fucking, um... What are they called? A, um... Porn star. Porn star. Yeah. That's me. I'm down at the Eaton Fair shop where people have cameras in my face. What are you doing? Oi, oi, hang on, man. Oi, man, I gotta go. Don't worry about it, man. It's alright. Alright. Now right. back to the questions. What was up? Brandon, Day in the life of Mitch Cooper. Day in the life of Mitch Cooper, mate. There's really not too many words that can explain the day in the life of Mitch Cooper. Because it could start off like out the back wrestling Roxy. Arm bars. Boom! Snap leg. Good night, Roxy. She's a bloody good dog. A bit fat now, but. Or it could start off with throwing shit at mum. Like, fuck. Could start off with going for a ride, but not in this fucking rain. Or it could start off with seeing some friends. Brendan? Yeah. That's my friend, Brendan. So, tell us about this experience of you thinking your house is full of ants. Oh, well. Before, before you say, what's that you're right now? Yeah, I'll be. Alright, well, wait. What happened here, mate? This is that horn to shut the fuck up. What happened was, one night I'd, I was eating a couple of mushrooms. Okay, a couple is not the right word. I've eaten a fucking forest of mushrooms. Like a fucking forest. As big as that paddy of mushrooms, right? Or it felt like it. And we had them in Chinese, put them in Chinese, I didn't eat any of the Chinese, just the mushrooms because they were the coots. And then I went out to a party, seen some Noongars roll some cunt, and then I went back home. And I just was just chilling with, who was I with? Michaela. Michaela, I was with her, I thought she was a fucking clown. Literally. Had her on your back? Yeah, I had to pick her up because I thought these king ants were coming. They weren't like rego ants that you'd stomp and the cunt stink. They were big fucking ants. You'd ride this cunt if you wanted to. And they were coming at me, man, so I've just fucking boost, 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 boost. Scooped her up, grabbed her, took Michaela out. That's a fucking dory. Took her out. No lighter. Took her out the front, and then I ran into mum. And mum, she was not happy, mate. She, I've gone, mum, honestly, there's fucking ants in the house everywhere. The hell big. She's just going, Mitchell, have another glass of water. It's like, Mum, why? Get on those bloody mushrooms again. I said, Mum, I haven't, alright? It's real. She said, Mitchell, go away. I'm coming in. <laughs> Went in there, scooped her up. She's fucking. Bro, she was spitting shit, man. Like, she was going berserk, man. So I just left the house and fuck it. Mum got eaten, I reckon. She would have got eaten by hands, but how could she not? Nah, 
I don't really want to talk about it. Do you know what something I want to tell you, camera? There, my friend, one of my best friends, broke my favourite fishing rod. My favourite. Sounds like a cunt, eh? Who is it? Who broke it? Okay, what happened was. I said who, not. Uh, nah, bro, just listen. You listen to the story, mate. I drive off. I'm just chilling, just driving. Ma, 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 ma. Whoom. What, 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 A little bit of that, you know what I mean? <laughs> Wait, then we got back, right? And Tiddles. Yes, Tiddles. Which one Tyler is Tyler Cavallaro. Is he here in this room? He is here. It's not a room, fuck, yeah. It's a fucking Avery. But anyway, <laughs> but whatever the fuck. Okay, I don't know slang, that. Alright. That can't be on the mind side. You don't do that shit here. Anyway, I come back, right? And Tyler, he's come running up to me and said, Cooper. I'm so sorry. <laughs> and I've gone, Tyler, what's wrong, mate? I've snapped your fishing ro- rod. Wh- wh- what, Tyler? I have snapped your fishing rod! And I said, no, Tyler. I swear on our friendship. And then, guess what he did? I swear on our friendship, Cooper. I have snapped your fishing rod. I've gone, Tyler. You turn the fuck around and run, cunt, because I'm going to fucking deck you. No, I didn't say that. It's alright. So I went outside thinking that this is all bluff. And guess what? That is mine, mate. It's mine. He, yeah, it might be yours. He snapped me fucking fishing rod, so now he owes me $124.95. This was my favourite fucking fishing rod. I got 30 of the cunts, and he had to snap my fucking favourite one. Fuck it. What do I call that cunt? Fucking. Where a punda. <laughs> Fucking dirty dog. Alright, Mitchell, tell us about the time Toodle sent you to I'm hospital. I'm Fucking Alright. What are you doing, mate? There once was this time, right, where we were at a little party with some friends. Just chilling out, having a good time. And I tuppy tapped him. You know what a tuppy tap is, eh? Where you get your hand and you right on their ball bag. I gave Tiddles, I think. Yeah, Tiddles. I gave Tiddles a nice little pearl. Made him fucking sink up him a little. And then I was just chilling out, doing my thing. I look down, and I see a right fucking hook coming out here like a big fucking slug of a cunt thing like this. Big fucking wrench. Boom! It has struck me. Boo! I go down. I'm down for, bro, I'm down for a while, man. I'm going, all right, I can take that now. Later I start to feel better. I get home and I... You know, as you do, you have a look at your fucking slug, see how she's going. You really loving. Look down, and I thought I had three nuts. Now, what the fuck is going on here? So I fucking, you know, my mum and me are pretty close, not like that, but close, like she's a good bird. So I went in there and showed, well, I haven't showed her, I said, Mum, I've got three fucking nuts. She goes, Mitchell, no, you fucking don't. And I said, Mum, I've been hitting the ball bag and I've got three fucking nuts. She's going, oh. Okay, I'll get Dad up and he'll take you to the hospital. I go, all right, no worries, Dad. Well, Mum. And then Dad come out and he's fucking giggling his old out. He's like, so funny, you got three nuts, right, right. I was like, yeah, righty-o, cunt, let's go. So we've gone to the hospital, right? Me and Dad are just sitting there talking normally. He looks at me with this little fucking smirk and goes, Mitchell, imagine if you got a big, rock-hard boner right now before the doctor sees you. I said, wouldn't that be fucking funny, eh? Sitting there, sitting there, waiting. Mitchell Cooper, you ready? Oh, that's me. I've looked down and gone. How the fuck? I've got rock fucking solid. Like, I mean, harder than this. Like, you get to go on. And that's what it would have sounded like. A thud, man. So I've walked up and it's a guy, a doctor. Like, he's a good mate of mine. He's alright. Walked up there and I've looked at him and I said, Hey, you going, mate? Alright, I've got three nuts. And he said the same thing. No, you don't. And I said, Yes, I fucking do. So he said, Alright, get him out. So I've had to pull out a raging, full, bar, rock, hard cock. And it was sticking up, man. And this doctor has lost it. And he just said, it happens to everybody. I said, no, it fucking doesn't. I've got a rock, fucking, hard cock. And I want it to go down. Why am I saying cock at the shop? Say, so country looking at me stupid. But anyway, this is a stupid fucking situation that Tyler Cavallaro put me in. So when it just, yeah, you just fucking pat around, that'll be alright. When he was touching him, it didn't fucking help, did it? <laughs> it didn't make him go down. 
But anyway, yeah, went back home. Yeah, that was about it. That was that story. Not a good story, Mark. And that's pretty much a day of the life of Tyler being a cunt. <laughs> pretty much. All right, cheers, mate. No worries, mate. Have a good one.